Okay, the most important thing and the most confusing thing um, that people come across with power and solar is what size solar panel they need and what size power pack they need for their campsite. Um, the critical calculation really is to get the overall output of your solar panel, the 200 watt panel in this instance, matched with the power station that you have. There's no point having a whole lot of solar and not much storage for the solar energy to go into. Um, it's really important to balance the solar output and the capacity you've got in your battery storage perfectly. We recommend having two to three watts for every amp you have in your power station. If you have a 200 watt solar panel, then you'll need a larger power station to make full use of the 200 watt solar panel. So in our range, we'd recommend the Rover 100 because it has the storage capacity to handle the output of this solar panel. So with the smaller solar panel, it could be perfect for the Rover 40 you have here. Um, it has a smaller capacity battery. So the Rover 40 will run a fridge for a day. Uh, if you combine it with a good solar panel, you can have indefinite power for your camping trip. A common question that we get asked about solar is how much do I need? Um, the answer to, to that is you're never always going to get perfect solar conditions. So more is always better, uh, depending on space and cost, of course. Generally around Australia, you can bank on six hours of usable sunlight per day. Personally, I only ever allow for three solid hours of sunlight per day to allow, allow for inclement weather, rain and clouds through your camping trip. So an example with my calculations at my campsite, if I'm using a 200 watt solar panel, I know it's good for 11 amps per hour in perfect conditions. That doesn't always happen. So best case, you're gonna get six hours of usable daylight times 11 amps per hour of usable power. Gives you 66 amps for that day, best case scenario. I always cut that in half personally. So I only ever budget on getting 33 amps per day out of a 200 watt solar panel. And I find doing it that way, you never run out of power. You can see I've got the Rover 40 here. It's a 40 amp LifePo 4 battery. We recommend that a product like this, with this capacity, is perfect for a short trip. With one small fridge, charging one device and some LED strip lighting at night time. We also recommend that it's perfectly suited and built for the 120 watt solar panel that you can see here. This has got a five to six amp per hour output in perfect conditions. The Rover 40 has an integrated five amp MPPT solar controller. So these two products are perfectly matched and they'll give you a really good result for a shorter, um, low power consumption camping trip. For, for the more larger and longer camping stays, bigger is always better. So we recommend the Rover 100. Um, it will power a 60 litre camping fridge uh, for up to four days without any assistance. But if you combine it with a 200 watt solar panel, which is good for about 11 amps per hour in perfect conditions, the Rover 100 has a 10 amp MPPT solar controller integrated in it. So these two products are perfectly matched for a medium and large camping trip with a 60 or up to a 75 litre dual zone fridge and you'll never run out of power. So that was a general rundown of solar and power guys. If you've got any specific questions or queries, please contact us. But as I said, bigger is always better when it comes to solar and power. But the critical thing is making sure you match your solar output capacity with your power storage. Um, there is no point having too much solar and not enough battery.